Well, one pan dinners are about as quick and easy as it gets. So today on Meal Prep Mondays, it's a sweet and savory take on salmon. This is a great time of year to give you some more meatless options for your meal. So on this Meal Prep Monday, Katie Schaefer is here with me from hy V, and we are going to do a salmon option. Yes, we're making some teriyaki salmon all on one sheet pan tonight. So we've got the salmon art around there. We're going to play with that in just a little bit. We've got some asparagus, and you're basically just going to cut it into about three-inch portions. And then we have some carrots, so we're going to give a lot of color to this meal. And you layer them just like that. Yep, and you're just going to put them all right on here. And we're going to toss them with a little bit of olive oil in just a second. And so the veggies are always going to give us a good source of fiber. And then the different colors always give us benefits too. So if you're ever looking at your plate and you're like, huh, that's all one color, you're going to want to switch it up just so you can get all of those different goodies in there. And then if you want to just toss those a little bit so we get those covered, and then right in the middle, we are going to take some of our high V shortcuts, and it's just half of one of the pineapple shortcuts. Or if you have fresh pineapple at home, if you have frozen, that would probably work too. You just want to let it And we're roasting this pineapple. Yes. What an interesting twist. This is one of my favorite um, kind of favorite things to do with pineapple. If it's warm outside, we love to grill it. Um, when pineapple gets warm, or really any fruit, the sugar in that fruit kind of caramelizes. Yeah. So it's super super tasty. It's going to add some yummy stuff to the salmon too. And then for the salmon. And we are going to take this sesame teriyaki sauce and we are going to kind of paint oh it gosh. on there. I don't there. care how old you are, this is so fun. <laughs> yes. You so have it, a cool painter here. So yes, this just goes on one. the salmon? Just goes right on there. How thick yep. do you want to do it? So basically we've got um, a little bit over like a quarter of a cup in here, um, or half a cup I should say. And so about a quarter of the cup goes on it. You can totally be the judge of that. If you like your salmon real saucy, you can add more on there. If you don't like it as much, you just do a little bit. But yeah, if you have kids at home um, that are getting excited about being in the kitchen. This no, is a really fun this job. This is for fun for mom to do. <laughs> yes, that too. <laughs> so once we've got that sauce on yeah, that's there. That's looking real good. Yeah, that looks wonderful. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> then you are going to add that to the oven. You're going to put some lemons on here. So you've got some roasted lemons. I actually oh, just cut usually, it in half. Yep, put it down. I usually do them skin side down so they get hotter on the pan. Um, and then when you take it off, obviously you can put it up just to make it look a little bit prettier. But you're going to put that in the oven about 425 for 10 to 14 minutes, depending on how thick your salmon is. Fish, a lot of people are intimidated by, but it's really simple because it cooks the quickest. It only has to get to 145. So if you're a thermometer person, um, definitely test it out. The other way you look is that you just press a fork on it. And if it flakes, you know that it's done. Okay. And then yeah. we top it off with these sesame seeds. Yep. So then when it's out of the oven, you're just going to top um, some sesame seeds on there, make it look nice and pretty, but look how colorful, wonderful that is. And it can all be done in literally less than 15 minutes. Makes so. you look like a pro. Yes, absolutely. That's today's Meal Prep <laughs> Mondays.